I got two things I want to talk about, but let's start here because this is actually some good news. The purchase of Crunchyroll by Sony, that's in a little bit of trouble. Turns out the U.S. Justice Department is watching and they think that, hey, uh, this could give Sony kind of a monopoly on anime, which is true. I mean, who else is there besides Funimation and Sony? Because I think Sony owns a bunch of stuff before they, they owned a bunch of stuff before they even bought Funimation. So them coming together was already kind of a big deal. Now Crunchyroll being purchased is even worse. So, I mean, Funimation and and Crunchyroll are kind of the only two big streaming services for anime. Amazon has a little bit, but other than, you know, maybe the little bit that Amazon Prime has as well, it's pretty much just Funimation and Crunchyroll. And now that Funimation has Crunchyroll under their thumb, that would ex- that would pretty much give them like ultimate power when it comes to anime in the West. And the U.S. Justice Department is saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's hold up here a second. We're going to go ahead and sit down and uh, take a look at this. So hopefully they'll block that deal. I don't want Sony to get unlimited power when it comes to this because they just don't have a good track record when it comes to anime to me. When you look at what they're doing with PlayStation and how they're censoring anime style characters and in games and I mean, just look at Galgon and stuff like that. They apparently just don't like anime-styled games. They don't like it when it's a little bit more, um, you know, when the waifus are a little bit more sexy. So the worry here is that the influence that they would gain for, you know, anime fans is they would take that influence over to Japan eventually and say, okay, well, if you want to you wanna show these these properties over in the West, you need to make a little bit of a, an alteration. You need to flatten that chest out a little bit, cover those legs up, stuff like that. So it's a little bit of a worry because, well, I mean, when you look at the money that's being made in Japan right now, almost half or if not over half now, I think it's pretty close, of the money that comes in for the manga and anime market in Japan, most of it is from outside of Japan. So a lot of the money that's brought in for to these properties comes from outside of the country. It's only a matter of time until the influence of the West gets in there. It really is. And it's unfortunate. As long as these Puritans and these NPC are in charge in a lot of these companies, there's going to be problems with that. But for now, everything's everything's kind of okay. In fact, I think you're going to see really like we're kind of already in the golden age of this stuff. And it's only a matter of time till, till that changes. So I, you know, maybe some things can, can be fought back, but we'll see. It's all going to depend on how things go with the culture over the next couple of years. But uh, Sony's acquisition of Crunchyroll has hit a major roadblock as the sale of the anime streaming service is now facing increased scrutiny by the U S department of justice. AT&T sale of Crunchyroll to the owned to the Sony owned Funimation Global Group LLC was the first was first confirmed last December with both companies announcing at the time that the anime streaming service had been sold for a total of 1.175 billion US dollars. However, according to a report from the information, three sources who spoke to the technology news site confirmed that the Department of Justice was extended that it had had extended their probe of the sales possible antitrust violations, which could delay the sale by several months and potentially kill it. As noted by the sources, the probe seeks to determine if the deal would give Sony dominance in the anime streaming market. The Department of Justice fears are well-founded, as since 2015, Sony has bought up several international distributor streamers, including uh, these right here. So, yeah, this is, this is a problem, and... I'm hoping that they'll block it. Sony has also allegedly asked that the Department of Justice consider anime to be in the same category as other adult animation series. This would allow the company to classify Disney Plus or Hulu, who would host adult series such as The Simpsons or Family Guy as competitors. If their request is granted, Sony could argue that since these other services host adult-aimed animation, they're 
purchase of Crunchyroll would not represent a monopoly within the industry. Uh, we'll see if they can pull that off. Uh, Disney has a lot more leeway because of their size. We'll see, though. Uh, and when I say by their size, I mean money <laughs> and, and uh, you know, the things they represent. So or Disney owns a lot of shit. I don't want to get into that. But with that comes tremendous influence and power. This is what helped them get that Fox deal done, which was a shame that, I mean, they pretty much represent all of media almost now nowadays. But anyway, uh, I'm hoping that this gets blocked and delayed so long that they end up killing the deal. And AT&T Warner is so in debt and so desperate for money that they might end up selling it <laughs> to somebody else, which would be fantastic. I would love to see that. Is anybody else interested in it, though? I guess that's the real question. I think it's kind of stupid that they're selling it, if you want my honest opinion. Uh, it's a market that's only going to grow and become more popular. So it's like, it's to, to me, it's kind of short-sighted to do this. If anything, if I were if I were AT&T Warner, I would take all of the Crunchyroll stuff and just roll it into HBO Max and try to build like a nice, a nice, anime area on that streaming service it would make more sense but you know <laughs> what do i know anyway uh next up was redo of healer information that's come out anyone that follows my saturday live streams knows all about this show because we talk about it every saturday uh if you're interested you should catch up on it it's quite the spicy show uh, i don't want to get into <laughs> Basically, the show is like almost a, a soft hentai is what it's saying. But it's the problematic plot of the show that drives a lot of people crazy, right? You'll have to look up. I'm pretty sure I would get instantly demonetized going over this show for a video. So just look up Redo of the Healer, Redo of Healer if you want the details. But uh, basically, I, I could say if you're looking for something that I could compare this to it would be 50 shades of gray turned up to 20, I think would be a, a good example. And by that, I mean like content wise, they're not really the same, but I'm just trying to give you the best example I could. You remember how crazy people went over that first episode of goblin slayer. Like this show is 10 times 20, 30, 40 times worse than that. And it's every episode. <laughs> So, well, like wisely people have like laid off of like jumping on it. I think the Puritans have kind of learned like, Hey, maybe we shouldn't jump on this show or we'll make it even more popular. But the, the highlight here is that women are more into the show than men. Women love redo of hero, which we do of healer, which I think is amazing and hilarious at the same time. We're for sure going to talk about this on Saturday, but it's like, you know, they say, well, we can't have these kind of shows because you've got to think of the women. The women don't like this. It's terrible to women the way it treats women. And then the women love the show. <laughs> women like it a little rough, I think, sometimes. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.